Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. We'd like to welcome Natalie Harvey, who is the Vice President for Collections and Interpretation at the Coastal Discovery Museum. Our first time uh, together. Yes, thank you for having me. It's good to have you with us. A lot happening this summer, and so we're going to dive right in. Uh, let's begin with the Family Fun Day in right. August. This is probably the 10th year, I think, that we've done this event. and. Um, it's sort of an end of summer, pre-school starting. Um, free activities, we're gonna do it Tuesday, uh, August 9th from 10 to 1. Mm -hmm. And you'll get to see some of the programs that we do, like our indigo tie-dye. We'll have volunteers out on the marsh talking about our blue crabs. Um, we'll have butterfly volunteers to show you all the chrysalises and caterpillars. And so in addition to all of the museum programs, um, this is the time of year where we like to invite our partners. So we right. will have a lot of guest organizations joining us during the day. Like the Pat Conroy Literary Center with Jonathan Haupt. Yes, Our your friend, friend Jonathan <laughs> will be there and with he books, has been yeah. wonderful. He has recruited almost a dozen children's oh, wow. authors. So okay. last year we had our first um, children's book fair as yes. part of Family Fun Day and we're expanding it this year. We're going to be having it in the Discovery House. You can have your books autographed, meet the authors, and purchase them and take gifts home. That's what, and it's right before, it's the week before school starts, so it's really a nice kind of way to, to close out the summer, but have a, you know, something to look forward to. It's a, it's a fun day. Yeah. And, um, you know, we invite people that we work with throughout the year, yeah. um, like the Audubon nice. Society will be there. They'll have binoculars down at the end of the boardwalk. They're gonna be doing a little migration game with the kids, the Archaeology Society who meets at the museum. Right. Uh, the Mitchellville, Explore Mitchellville, the Gullah Museum. Perfect. So it's just a great chance for us to invite all of those organizations that we like to partner with. That's great. Now, the conservation exhibit is open. We talked about that last month that it was going to open, but now it's officially open? It is officially open. And uh, the great thing about the conservation in the classroom exhibit is that we never exactly know what it's going to look like until the students provide us with their artwork. <laughs> And so um, I know our, our team at the museum, you know, they, they pull everything together and then they have to figure out how to put it on the wall. And it looks beautiful this year. It, um, a lot of recycled objects, uh, the shorebirds, uh, we're mm -hmm. actually going to be doing another permanent sign that's at the beach to um, the okay. Audubon Society will help us to provide one of those to help encourage people to leave their dogs on a leash when they're down yes. where the nesting and the, and the shorebirds are. Yes. Um, and so that exhibit is open through the end of August, uh, just right before Labor Day. So be sure to see it. Uh, Natalie, what are the times of the museum? At what time do you all open? So we are open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 4.30. Okay. Sunday, 11 to 3. So we're open seven days a week. Okay, I didn't know um, that. The grounds yeah. will uh, remain open about a half an hour after the museum. Okay. So you have time to explore a little bit outdoors. Oh, nice. And there's a night at the museum. You've been doing that several years, Yes, too. we, you know, it, it, we've had starts and stops on that program, but we really love it. It's a Thursday evening, mm -hmm. and it changes every week. Uh, we do a lot of uh, programs that are hands-on. So there's an artistic component. I brought our... Um, Show that. Our no, fish no, print that. tote bag. <laughs> um, and so you learn a little bit about the, the anatomy and biology of some of our fish. And then we do a little fish print tote bag for you to take home. So during the summer, they're very family oriented. You can bring your shell collection. We'll do little shadow boxes or picture frames. So if you check our website, you'll yep. see which programs we're doing during the week and we'll come talk about the ones in the fall later okay, on this right. year. Now this is my first time meeting you and you are the VP of Collections and Interpretations. What is your background? My background actually is in historic preservation. Um, I, I got a master's degree in historic preservation museum studies. Right. Uh, my thesis work was actually about the history of Hilton Head. Oh, wow. So when I first started at the museum 25 years ago, um, the, one of the first projects I did was working on the Images of America okay. uh, book of right. Hilton Head Island photographs. Right. So that was my first project. And then your, so what all are you responsible for? So I am in charge of our collections and making sure they're taken care of and inventoried and we're working on a new storage facility. So okay. it's taking up a lot of time. So we'll be back with you or maybe another guest Absolutely. from the museum next month. We hope to see you soon. Thank you, Natalie Harvey with the Coastal Discovery Museum.